Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity led to the understanding that space and time are somehow connected, where before it was believed that space and time are independent of one another. So, to see exactly what we mean, let's look at the following thought experiment. Let's conduct the following thought experiment. So, let's imagine an observer on a train that is moving with a very high velocity on Earth. So, the velocity of the train is very close to the velocity of light in a vacuum. Now, this observer inside the train begins reading a book and notices, according to the clock on the train, it takes them 30 minutes to read that book. Now, based on the special theory of relativity as proposed by Albert Einstein, a second observer outside the train found on Earth will basically experience two things, time dilation and length contraction. So basically, the second stationary observer outside the train found on Earth, our inertial reference frame, will measure the time interval to be longer than 30 minutes and will measure the length of the book to be shorter than the length of the book on the train. So we can conclude the following important point based on the the following thought experiment. So time and length or time and space seem to balance one another out. Now when viewed from the earth, our inertial reference frame, what the object seems to gain in time, it loses in length. And these types of considerations basically led to the unification of space and time. That is, space consists of three different dimensions. We have the x, y, and z dimension, and time consists of one dimension, the fourth dimension, and this concept, this unification of these dimensions became known as space-time. Now, that basically implies that in order to describe an event or object, the three dimensions are used to essentially describe the location of that object or event in space. And the fourth dimension is used to describe when in time it actually took place. So let's suppose I was born in New York in 1962. So the 1962 part means that is my fourth dimension. It describes when in time the event took place. And New York basically signifies the location in space when or where that event took place. Now, this is the easy part in understanding what the relationship is between space and time. The difficult part is the following. The fact that space and time are interwoven, are connected, means that time can be exchanged for length and vice versa, which is exactly what we see happen, what we saw happen in this thought experiment. So, what the book essentially gained in time it lost in length. So one increased and the other one decreased.